This month is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and urologists in Lee County report that many of their prostate cancer patients are inquiring about robot-assisted surgical procedures. We look at who might be a candidate in today's Health Matters. Noted for its extreme precision and minimally invasive qualities, the Da Vinci robot surgical system is getting the nod from both surgeons and patients alike. The patients are asking for it and the outcomes so far have been very good. Dr. Omar Benitez, along with Dr. Paul Breton, have been performing robot-assisted radical prostatectomies for several months now at Health Park. You know, you're able to see what you're doing a lot uh, you know, a lot clearer because the magnification is between, you know, 15, 10 and 15 times. So you're able to really see the detail that you probably weren't seeing when you were doing the procedure open. With one surgeon at the console, the other at the bedside, the two work in conjunction with the Da Vinci robotic arms to remove the prostate. So who's a candidate for this type of cutting edge surgery? Well, that depends. They have to meet a certain criteria to be able to be a candidate for a radical prostatectomy. You've got to select the patients properly. So the best candidates are going to be healthy males with good pulmonary function, with locally confined uh, prostate cancer, uh, not very aggressive type cancer, are going to be our best, our best patients. You know, the advantages of that using the robot, obviously, is it's minimally invasive and uh, makes it um, a lot easier on the patient. With robotic-assisted surgeries, there's less scarring, less pain, and an overnight hospital stay. Typically, people are back to their daily activities between two and four weeks. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. This type of surgery has been proven to have longer survival rates than radiation or other treatments.